Hello, Commanders, and welcome back to Elite Dangerous Journey Across the Galaxy. We are continuing on our way out to Beagle Point. Don't have a particular uh, topic for today. We're just going to kind of wing it as we go. We're heading out to Beagle Point. For those of you who are just joining the series right now, we've already passed through the Galactic Center, having started way back over here at the bubble. Uh, current number of jumps to our next waypoint is still 213. So we've got a long way to go. Let's go ahead and get off the ground into space here. Oh, we get to go straight on to our next waypoint. I love it when it lines up just like this. So for those of you who are just joining, we are mostly working on our exobiology, uh, right, trying to rank that up to the elite status. Um, I've already gone out to Beagle Point at least twice now, so this isn't really for me to do it. It's mostly just it gives us something to do while we're working on our exobiology. So we're going to hop into this next system. Uh, the gameplay itself is fairly repetitive. We hop into a system, we pop the discovery scanner, check to see if there are, or check to see how many bodies there are. Then we'll hop into the full spectrum system scanner to see if there are any high value planets available, being those being uh, ammonia worlds, water worlds, and earth-like worlds. Then if there are 15-ish bodies or less in the system, depending on you know how I feel at the time, We'll go ahead and do a full-on scan of the system to see if there are any biological signatures available. Uh, 15 is just kind of the arbitrary number that I've set because it feels like a nice balance between, you know, stopping at enough systems to actually see things versus wasting time going to scanning planets and ending up not finding anything. So we're looking to see if there are any biological features up there in the top right corner of the window. I don't want to get my exclusive window set up there okay get that and we'll just keep well what's this so unfortunately there was nothing there let's go ahead and move on to the next system so actually you know what i think i think i actually do have a list of topics written down somewhere hmm let me see conversation topics I try to write things down like that so that I can have something to talk about. Let's see if we can find something and draw it from the list. Oh, okay. Um, oh, okay. Persistence in the face of discouragement. Okay, we'll talk about that one. <laughs> um, or actually, you know what? We'll do... Uh, hmm. Did I actually do that one? All right, I'm sorry. I'm getting I'm getting distracted. Persistence in the face of discouragement. Let's let's do that one. So that's going to be three March twenty four. Okay. So uh, what did I want to talk about with that? Then I had one of the things that is very difficult to deal with for most people, myself especially, is continuing to do something when it feels like you're not getting anywhere. So the reason I say that is, is that the YouTube game is quite frustrating. We're gonna go ahead. I know 19 is more than 15, but I'm feeling a little bit. Uh, I'm feeling a little bit like doing it. So let's go geological two. That's not what we're looking for. Um, the YouTube game. Ooh, biological one. We need. I want at least two when we're towards the beginning of an episode like this. I will eventually get to the point if I can stop being interrupted by you know the game. <laughs> Uh, the YouTube game is just, it's very, very up and down. It's one of those things where, you know, oh, let me grab these so that they'll go away. It's one of those things where some, there's going to be times where things are going really well and then times where it feels like you're just going backwards. And it's super frustrating. A lot of single biology planets, or single biology moons. Uh, another single biology. Two a geological two is not what we're looking for. Biological one and geological two. I kind of want to go after that one though because that one might actually be. I don't know what kind of geology would it have though. Nah, we're just gonna move on. So let's hop out of that. Move on to the next system. I can get up to it. And then I have a message I need to respond to because somebody important is messaging me. Oh, okay. Never mind. 
So anyways, uh, the YouTube game is just a very back and forth kind of experience. Uh, sometimes you, you watch as your channel is like growing faster than you ever thought it would, and then other times there's just weeks where nothing's happening. So, you know, it's easy in those periods of time to look at what's happening and be like, oh man, we're going backwards again. And to really want to just like kind of give up on it. Um, and it's just one of those things where as, as trite and cheesy as it sounds, you kind of have to persist through those things because if you give up, as soon as things become hard, you're never gonna get anywhere. Unfortunately, that's just the way the world works. You have to keep trying even if, even if you're never gonna make it. Because if you don't try, you're definitely never gonna make it. And, you know, I, I've, I've personally passed up on a lot of opportunities and given up on a lot of opportunities that I was in the middle of because it felt like I was just never gonna get there and I was tired of, I, I was tired of feeling like I was wasting my time and wasting my effort and just wasting a lot of, a lot of stuff. So, you know, it's just, one of the hardest things to do is just get over that feeling of anxiety and get over that feeling of, like one of the, one of the worst things in the world for me is just wasting time. I hate wasting time. I hate putting effort into something only to end up having it not be any, to, you know, to, to have that effort not turn out to do what I wanted it to do. And very rarely in my life, you know, I know a lot of people, you know, one door gets closed, another gets open. Very rarely in my life does that ever actually happen for me where a door gets closed and then and another opportunity comes knocking that I want to do. And unfortunately in life, a lot of times, the only opportunities you get are opportunities that you don't want. And it's very difficult to kind of get over yourself and be like, all right, I'll take this opportunity because it's an opportunity. <laughs> I guess we're not getting a, uh, I guess we're not getting a uh, fuel scoop opportunity here. That's okay. We're outside of the star influence and there's only eight bodies in this belt. So let's see if we can find something interesting here. Don't be behind the star. There we go. Do that one there. Nope. I have a feeling we're not going to find anything, because usually the biology is on moons. So we need to find something that has a bunch of moons around it. It's usually how we... It's usually the, the best way of finding biological signatures is when there's moons. Oh! Except when they do it that way. But that's okay. We're going to go ahead and go there now. Very rare for that to actually happen. Uh, it is a moon, see? They're almost always on moons and not actual planets. So, I need to step away for a second. So, and you guys don't want to watch this part, so I'll be back in just a moment. All right, we are approaching the body now. Go ahead and get our planetary scan done. Then, we'll get ourselves some exobiology. Waiting for the too fast to, to show up there on the surface scanner. That means we're in. I mean, we were in range. Come on. There we go. All right, six probes. So I generally do backwards or back, top, left, right, and then a bottom and front, and that gets us. Uh, it gets all of our scanned items to hit pretty much about the same time. Wait for that. Alright, we got Bacterium and Fonticula. Seems to be about the same for both of them, so that's fine. Get our Super Cruise Assist turned off. We'll approach the planet, find ourselves a nice little flat spot, and hopefully that'll make it really easy for us to find where we're going. Or find, some, find something easy. <laughs> In general... Craters are a very good place to look, especially for Fonticula. It's always, almost always Fonticula in the craters. But until we get down closer to the surface, there's no way to know whether there's any craters. I mean, there's, there's almost always craters. A very large planet. Orbital flight engaged. 
So I think we'll head for this big crater over here. Realistically, a crater that big, we should be able to find all three of our biological, all three of our uh, samples in this, inside that crater. And then we can hop up out of the crater to go find the bacteria, because those are usually, those are almost always found in large, in uh, large flat spots. Wow, it's taking a long time to uh, finish the approach here. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. We got things to do. Like craters inside of a crater. Get our throttle down so we don't end up crashing in. And now we need to get down and try to find some, uh, find some funticula. Generally, some kind of a mushroom looking thing. Get our landing gear down to limit our speed. Get our night vision turned on so that the shapes will kind of stand out to us as we get down there close enough. There they are. Oh, 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 don't hit. There we go. All right, let's go grab some Fonticula. Oh, yeah. Persistence in the face of... In the face of what feels like futility. Whoa, those are cool. These ones are red. What is this? Ponticula campestris red organic. All right, I mean, basic name, but they just, they look cool. It's like candy cane uh, fungus. I think I'm gonna have to put that in the in the title and catch people's attention. Candy cane fungus and, candy cane fungus and uh, persistence in the face of futility. Or, nah, that's, that's too long of a title. Works. All right, cool. <clears throat> I mean, you know, we can talk about we can talk about things like, you know, you got to be persistent. You got to keep doing things. <sighs> Motivation is just one of those things that, you know, a lot of times just requires other people. As sad as it is, it's very rare that a person is able to really motivate themselves to do anything. Um, you know, if you're seeing results, you, you're motivated. If you're not seeing results, you really need other people that are, you know, coming in and trying to help keep you going. Um, and then, you know, in the YouTube community, that generally comes in the form of con uh, of comments from people, you know, support and all of that kind of stuff. And that's definitely appreciated. Um, and then it also comes in the form of, you know, people just choosing to support the channel. There's, you know, the thanks button down there letting me know that you guys are having fun and, you know, helps contribute towards uh, getting to the point where I can do this full time. That would be super sweet. Uh, you know, channel memberships. If you watch my content on a regular basis and you want to help out with that, that's, you know, that's, that, that is a form of channel growth that, you know, everybody has a, an individual ability to help with. Um, so, you know, uh, I'm trying to focus on finding a landing spot here so we can get these la the last of these guys. This is a massive crater. I didn't realize how big this crater was. Keep finding like the spots, but they disappear after like a second. Okay, hold on. Come on. What are we? Come on. What? Oh, I hate it when it's like this. 
<laughs> Can you just let me land, please? No. Alright, we'll get this last one. Where's the nearest one? I think it's this guy right here. Now, the problem with a planet like this is going to be that the bacterium color is generally whitish, some kind of light color, and this is an ice world, which makes it very difficult. It makes it very difficult to pick it out. But we can try the night vision trick because bacteria does not highlight and everything else pretty much does. So maybe, maybe if we turn on our night vision, we'll be able to see patches of something that's not greenish. The problem is, is that we're down in the crater and I told you that the bacteria is almost always outside of craters in big flat areas. But with a crater this big, and since we're already kind of down in the middle of it, I'm hoping that we might be able to find a specimen here pretty soon. And I passed by something that looked like it wasn't glowing, but it went by too quick. We'll go for another minute or so. Oh, that was some. That was some. I saw some out of the corner of my eye, and that might be a, another couple of patches up there. Oops. Definitely saw some. Right there. There's a reason I run with shields, and it's exactly because of that. Because I'm, I'm too impatient to land properly. <laughs> All right. So we'll grab ourselves. See, this is a this is the persistence part, right? We didn't think we we're going to find any bacteria, but I kept trying, and here we are. We have bacteria. Now, obviously, if we were towards the end of an episode, we would not be doing this right now. <laughs> Everything's red on this planet. We had bacteria. Uh, the the fonticula was red, and the bacterium is red. So that's cool. All right. So I saw what looked like a couple of patches over in this kind of open area over here. But yeah, that might it's actually terrain. Never mind. Hmm. All right, come on. Almost never gonna be in these rocky areas. We need nice big. F oh, there's some. Make a liar out of me. Oh, right there. Two big patches of it. Come on, give me a landing spot. There we go. Get this one and one more and we'll be done already. So how about that? Oh, landed right on top of it. Uh, come on. Give me the... There we go. It's kind of funny with the way that it forces you to do that on the bacteria. The bacteria always have some kind of weird trigger zones or something that don't work the way you expect them to. All right, so we'll go grab one more set of bacteria, and then I think we'll go ahead and call it a day. If we can find it really quick, that would be super sweet. Come on. Rolling the dice, rolling the dice. How quick is it gonna come? It's awesome. We go. Come on. Right here. 
All right, well, hopefully you guys had lots of fun. Be sure to click that like button so the YouTube algorithm knows that you did and sends the video out to as many people as possible. Subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already so that when the next video comes out, it will show up in your video feed and you'll be able to watch it as soon as it becomes available. Channel members do get early access to all of my content, so be sure to click that join button. Check out the list of options there. Uh, decide if any of those are right for you, or if you're not ready to join and you'd like to support the channel, there is a thanks button that allows you to do a one-time donation, so uh, please consider that as well. All of that is a, a, a critical component to helping turn this into a full-time gig, so uh, your support is greatly appreciated. Again, thank you very much for your time. Hope you guys are enjoying the journey, and I'll see you for the next one.